Good morning and welcome to the Bible Talk Show. I'm your host, Minister Love, with Sister Sandy of Source Outreach Ministries. And welcome again that we have partnered together, Sister Sandy, Source Outreach Ministries, and Block Who, Busy Ladies Achieving Christ's Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom. If you want to know more about our ministries that Sister Sandy and I are doing, the work of the Lord, just go to our website. That is Source Outreach Ministries.com. You will find uh, the latest information about our ministries working together to further the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, Sister Sandy, here we are again mm -hmm. on another great Bible talk show today. And as we know, we always let the Bible do the talking. Right. Sister Sandy and I are just little vessels just to read what God has already written. We are living epistles for God. Well, Sandy, today, who are we talking about today? We're talking about the names of God. Right. Who's going to be on the show today? Uh, Jehovah Raha. Oh, yes. Do you guys, are you familiar with him? Jehovah Raha. That means what, Sandy? Shepherd. Ooh, the Lord is our word, shepherd. And Sandy, with that word shepherd, what does that entail? What does it mean to be a shepherd? Uh, to me, it's like the leader of a flock of, mm -hmm. of something. And um, so yes. like... Um, or the sheep, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so the shepherd leads the sheep mm -hmm. to feed them and take care of them and lead them in life. Right. And so that's what we're going to be studying today about how mm -hmm. the Lord leads us mm -hmm. as our shepherd. Mm -hmm. Amen. Very good. It's a leader. leader. That's why we have to have the Bible as the head of our life. So the title of the show today, our listeners, we're going to call this lesson today, We Heard Him. <laughs> yes, yes. We love to play on words. Uh, if you look at uh, shepherd, you know, the ending here is heard. Right. So we're going to say, yeah, we heard him. Uh, uh, come on, y'all. Don't be out there in the world as if you ain't never heard about Jesus Christ. Right. You know, a lot of people act, that play dumb and down with God, but let a funeral come. Let, let someone die. The first thing they go to is Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Uh -huh. right. See, if he can be your shepherd in death, he ought to be your shepherd in, in life. life. Right. Don't wait to get to the funeral and then you all of a sudden, the Lord is my shepherd. Right. You ain't had nothing to do with them while you was alive. Can I get an amen. That's so true. Oh, come on, like somebody. Woo-hoo. We're going to have a good show today, Sandy. We fired up. Yeah. So, again, we're talking Too about, much. yeah, we heard him. We heard him. Well, let's take a look. Let's see how we are being herded by the shepherd. You ought to be, see, a lot of a men, men want to be ahead of Jesus. Right, right. You, ain't, you can't lead Jesus. Right, right. Jesus is our leader. So we got to stop looking for man and start following the book. Right. Follow the shepherd. Right. Well, let's take a look, Sandy. Let's go to our first one. Psalms 23. And we're going to take a look at, matter of fact, verse 1. What does it say, Sandy? All right. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh, we can stop right there. We ain't got to go no further. Right. Uh, wait. Wait. Who is our shepherd? The Lord. And, and who have we been talking about on these series, on these Bible talk shows? The, the Lord. Lord. He's our covenant of peace. We saw that, right. didn't we, Sandy? Right. Mm -hmm. And now he's our shepherd. shepherd. Mm -hmm. What? Did y'all? Are y'all seeing this? He protects us. He takes care yes. of us. Yes. He feeds us. Right. He makes sure we got a uh, 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 shelter, shelter, clothing. Right. Uh, we're in our right mind. If you're following, right. Uh, but you got right. to follow it. You should not want for anything. Uh, right. And and Sandy, isn't that amazing? He said, "You shall not want." Isn't it amazing that the body of Christ is always wanting, 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 right. wanting? I wonder why is that? I don't know. I think it's because they're following the wrong shepherd. Possibly. Oh, Definitely. come on. Because I think they want the world things. They mm -hmm. want the materialistic things. They, uh, abundance to them is they're thinking in the world frame. Yes. Abundance is not the way they should be thinking mm -hmm. in the world. Abundance should be in the spirit. Yes. That you're in peace, that you have yes. good health. Mm. You know, different, it's a different definition. Right. It's different. And I think that's um, what's going on as Christians. They um, are in the churches that mm -hmm. are giving them sometimes not all the truth. Right. And right. what we're hoping to do is um, give you food for thought. Ooh, I like that. Food that's for good. thought. That's good. So That's that good. you can see the difference mm -hmm. of what this Bible is representing and what the Lord is really yes. saying, really saying, because we do 
Because we heard him. We heard him, and we do some deep researching <laughs> right. on all of this information, all these names. We yes. look up the definitions. Mm -hmm. We look it up in Hebrew. We That's look right. it all over the place. We use the internet as a place to research to find out is all this the truth? And right. so far, we have found out yes. Oh, it's it true. Is. Mm -hmm. So um, we don't it. listen to a man. We listen to the Bible. Right. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. You can go to church, but you still need to be searching for this Bible. Right. You need to read the Bible and make sure what they're telling you in church mm -hmm. is the truth. Is the truth. Right. Remember over in the New Testament talking about the Bereans. It said that the Bereans, they searched the scriptures to see if what those people, the rabbis, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, whomever, are you telling me the truth? Well, let me look through the book. Let, let me search these scriptures to see what you really telling me is the, the truth. truth. Right. That's why the Lord is our shepherd. Right. Because we right. know he's going to tell us the truth. There you That's go. That's right. That's it. That's it. So let's take a look. So we should not be wanting. You, when the Lord is our shepherd, you should not be wanting for peace. You should not be wanting for uh, goodness. You should not be wanting for mercy. You should not be wanting for grace. All that is already inclusive when we got the Lord. Right. We should never be in lack when it comes to spiritual no. things. Right. I ain't want to, uh, uh, I, I'm not in, uh, into wanting the house and the car and the jewelry and the purses and the bags and all that stuff. That that, that comes secondary. Right. We ought to want love and joy and peace and good. We ought to want the fruit of the spirit. Right. Fellowship with friends. There you go. We ought to, look at here, we ought to want Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, right. Deuteronomy, Matthew, Mark. That's what you ought to be wanting. Right. To study. There you go. Study. If you're going to want something, want God. Right. Amen. But he said, if we, if he's our shepherd, then we don't be in want for nothing, right. Sandy. That's right. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a, another look at Jehovah Roha, who is our shepherd. Mm, go to Isaiah. Oh, I love that prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 44, Sister Sandy. Isaiah 44. Everyone knows that Isaiah was a mighty, one of those major prophets for God. He heard God. Isaiah 44. And we're going to take a look at verse 28. And I'll read that for us. That saith of Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. Hey, you remember who Cyrus was? He was that Persian king. king uh huh. Yes. Remember when the Jews was uh, in exile at Nehemiah, Nehemiah and Ezra and them, and when they came back to build the temple, it was Cyrus that gave them the okay. Right. Why? Because Cyrus had been selected by God Himself. God said, "Cyrus is my what? Shepherd." Shepherd. Mmm. And once Cyrus became the shepherd of the Jews coming out of exile, coming back to Jerusalem, they had to be under leadership. Right. Mm-hmm. So Cyrus here was a picture of Jesus being a shepherd to the people coming out of bondage, right. coming out of exile, coming back to the city of Jerusalem. So we, if you're going to have a shepherd, see, we're not leaders. We're just followers of the shepherd. This Bible is my leader. Right. I follow this book. The book don't follow me. No. Because if the book followed me, Sandy, in uh, girl, we both be in a ditch. Yeah. <laughs> we both be in the mud. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh huh. So, did you notice that, Sandy? That when he said that Cyrus is my shepherd, what's going to happen in verse 26? Shall perform what? What did he say? Shall perform all my. Okay, Isaiah 44, 28 again. Right. Okay. Yeah, I shall perform all my pleasure. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Perform what? All oh. his pleasure? Right. So you mean to tell me when we follow the shepherd, we heard him, we are now entering the pleasure of God? Right. Woo! Yeah, I, I follow him. Right. Yeah, I heard him. We heard him. Right. Wow. Wow. Oh. Perform all his pleasure. So God takes pleasure when we follow him. Right. God takes happy. pleasure when we're his sheep. Right. He's happy. He's happy, isn't he? Right. And if one strays away, what does God do, Sandy? If one of the sheep uh, stray away, remember he had those, uh, the hundred sheep and, and 99 stayed, what happened to the one? He tried to get it back. He went and, he went and got it back, didn't right. he? Right. Mm hmm. Y'all see that? Right. Important. Right. Important. Mm hmm. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Let's take another look at this, what this shepherd does. Take a look at Ezekiel. Oh, back in Ezekiel. 34. Jehovah Rohi. We heard him. That's the title today. Ezekiel 34. And we're going to look at verse 12. I'm going to read verse 12. You there? Yes. All right. Ezekiel 34, verse 12, audience, it says, As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day, that he is among his sheep that are what? Scattered. So will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. That's right. Woo! Right. Did you see that? That's right. So there are some Christians out there, which are sheep, and they're out there scattered, right. Sandy. Right. They're in darkness. Right. They haven't been, their minds and heart hasn't been illuminated to the word of God. So they're out there scattered. Right. But here comes the shepherd. Right. What does yeah, the shepherd do? What did he do? Uh, he's mm -hmm. going to seek out his sheep. Come on. And bring them back. Come on. Because he knows where everyone is. Right. He knows where we all are and where our hearts are at. And, that's not and then he's going to bring us back out of the cloud and the darkness mm. to come back and to be under his guidance. Right. So we, when we've been lost out there under false teachings, under false religions, that we've been out there lost in that darkness, here comes Jehovah Rohi, the shepherd. Right. He comes and brings us out of a uh, uh, false religion. Right. He comes and brings us. He's seeking us. Come out of her. That's what Revelation said. Right. Come out of her right, right so you won't be defiled by her right there's only one true religion y'all and it's in this book right if you're in a church or you're in some kind of ministry and they're not preaching what's in this book you better get out right right and come hear the shepherd himself jesus is calling us we're living in the last days sandy yes we are yes we are he's calling the sheep Right. And some of us have gone so far, we done went so far away from God, you didn't even hear the voice no more. Right, right. That's true. That is so true. Don't even hear God calling no more. Don't pray no more. Don't study no more. Don't fellowship no more. You so far away from God, you don't even know hear his voice when he go. That's right. But 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 let some of these famous movie stars uh uh say something. You all over Facebook talking about it. Right, right. Girl, did you hear what he did? Did you hear what she did? Beyonce and Jay-Z and all the rest right, of them. Right. But when God called you, you can't say nothing. That's right. You need to really uh, seek out what are you doing out there? Mm -hmm. Who are you looking at as your uh, superiors out there? Are mm -hmm. you you're just looking at the uh, celebrities? You're just looking at right. people. Uh, have what if they don't even know you? You don't even know them. That is so silly. Mm -hmm. So you need you need to like say, okay. How am I doing? How what am I doing right. in life? Right. You know, is this all fulfilling or not or not? Or is this just fluff and fake? Mm. And so you, you just need to, to sit down sometimes. Sometimes I think you just need to fall to your knees and pray and ask for help. Yes. You need to ask for the shepherd to help you to make a decision mm -hmm. because you're not making good decisions on your own. You just need to fall on your knees and pray for, yes. for guidance. And and that's why we're here. That's mm -hmm. why we're here to to show you another side, to show you another opportunity. Yes. That's why we come here every week. Every to week. To talk to you. Praise God. And, and the name of the show again is called, We Heard Him. That's right. We Heard Him. That's right. Because the Bible says that when Jesus comes back, every knee is going to bow. Right. And every mouth is going to confess that Jesus is the Lord. Right. So when he speak, oh, you, even the deaf going to hear him. The dead going to hear him when he come back. That's right. So you better hear it right now in this book. Right. You just better do it. That's right. Well, let's see. Let's see what this shepherd does. When, uh, 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 like we saw in Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So when we're on the righteous side of God, let's see what's going to happen. There's two groups. Let's go to Matthew 25. Isn't it good that we can see God in the Old and the New and Testament? The new, right. Let's go to the New Testament. Matthew 25. Sandy, read this for us. 25, and I want you to read verse 32. Okay. That's Matthew 25, our listeners, verse 32. Okay. We'll give you time to get there. 25, 32. Hold on. All right, I am there. And in the scripture, this is Jesus speaking to us. Yes. And before him shall be gathered all nations, 
and he shall, shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Mm. Interesting. And every verse 33, Sandy. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. And look what it says in 34, Sandy. Then shall the king say, there it is, that he's speaking. Right. That, that's why we say, we heard him. Right. See, and then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come, woo, you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Right. Wait a minute, Sandy. So this is powerful. This, this is, is Jesus. Very powerful. Isn't it powerful? So here's this shepherd, Jesus. And he's got two groups of people that he's looking at. Some are going to what side? To the right. Some are going to the left side. Woo so those that heard him are going to be on his right side. Oh, are you? And what are we going to do, Sandy? We're going to inherit what? The earth. Ah! Oh my God, the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. For us. Did you see right. that? But the left side is um, going to be judged. Mm -hmm. And they're going to inherit hell. That's simply right, right there. You, right. The one on the right is going to inherit the kingdom right. of God, right. and the ones on the left is going to inherit hell. Right. So you can't put it no uh, so clearer than that. That. Right. That. That's the destiny of That's it. all of us. That's right. You're either going to be on the left or you're going to be on the right. Right. So however you live now, that's why this is so important, y'all. Right. I don't care if you're 70, 80, 90, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, right. whatever your age is now. You better stop what you're doing, get in, a, in, in this book, right, and start talking with God. Right. Because this is just temporary here so on is. Earth. But in the end, it's eternal. That's right. And that is what you need to strive for because this is just a few minutes mm -hmm. that you're here. Mm -hmm. But what you do in these few minutes will determine in this scripture where what, what side you're going to end up Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's only one leader. We only got one God. Only one. Just only one God. Right. Well, let's see. Let's see how this shepherd plays uh, 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 in the end times for us uh, today, Sister Sandy. Let's see what this great shepherd did for us. Hebrews 13, 20. We're going to end here. Hebrews 13, 20. And read verse 24. It's Hebrews 13, 20, listeners. Okay. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, which is Jesus Christ. Wow. And you can't say it any better than that. Did you see that, Sandy? Right. So he just ain't a shepherd. This scripture say he is a the the God of peace. He is um what kind of shepherd? How does he describe the shepherd? The great great. There you see that he is the great shepherd. So there's a lot of shepherds out there, right? But the one that we're listening to is the great, great shepherd, right, the ultimate one. How, and what what do you see here in the text saying about this great shepherd? Because through his what? We got this covenant. We only got this through, covenant. Through the blood. Uh-oh, did you see that? Right. And the blood uh, is uh, Jesus. Did Donald Trump get up on the cross for you? No. Did Hillary Clinton get up on the cross no. for you? Uh, what about Reagan? No. What about Bush? None of what them. What about Obama? None of them. Uh, none of them. Mm -hmm. Are y'all seeing this? Right. You get all hyped up over these men, and, and they come every four years. These right, elections right. come every four years, and they promise to do this and that and don't do nothing. Nothing. Just lie. Because you put your hope in a man. Right. He is not your shepherd. Right. Right. And if he's up there, he better have a relationship with God. That's right. That's Ooh. what you should be looking at. That's right. When you're voting for anyone in this world to be a leader for you at this time. You should look where their heart is mm -hmm. at. Not what you think that they could do for you and all mm -hmm. the lies and the stories they tell you. But search and find out what have they been doing all their life. That's right. Then you have a better decision, make, can make a better decision. Uh huh. Is the Lord their shepherd? Right. That's the key. That's the key. Is the Lord their shepherd? Then we wouldn't want for nothing. Right. If the Lord is their shepherd. If we can get the right leader, get some good uh, 
Christian uh, 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 committed leaders in, and, and we're not just saying in America. We're talking about we need the, we need a, every nation, the right. whole world right. need to be following the great shepherd. Right. right. Then we wouldn't have chaos. We wouldn't have all this racism. We wouldn't have all this animosity. Right. We would not have all these murders if people would just submit and bow down to God. Right. Then the whole world could be in peace. There you go. Right. Ain't that what he said, Sandy? Right. The, uh -huh, the God of peace. There right. it is right there. Jehovah Shalom right there. Right. Woo! An everlasting covenant? Right. Sandy, you said it earlier. This book been around for thousands and thousands of years. Right. I've only been here for 50 cents. Right. Who you gonna trust, me or the book? The book. Thank you, Jesus. We're just a vessel trying to give you the truth that's right that's in here mm -hmm. so that you can make good sound decisions that's right well Sandy, we don't they don't love this last one let's take uh, uh the audience to the last one first peter first peter. peter five four uh listeners we we let you know that jesus is alive the holy spirit is alive god the father is alive and they speak through the scriptures when you get into the bible you're actually hearing the father the son and the holy ghost first peter chapter 5 sister sandy i'm going to read verse 4. uh oh are you ready yeah here it is and when the chief shepherd shall appear you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. What? That's right. Did y'all see that in your own body? Wait a minute. When who appears, Sandy? Who's coming? The chief. Uh oh. Chief. So we done seen Jehovah Roha as the shepherd, the great shepherd, now the chief. Chief shepherd. All. We heard him. Somebody say, We heard him. You heard him. We heard him. It says when he appears. So he's coming back. Right. What? And, and what's going to happen for the sheep that he put on the right side? We're going to receive a crown of what? Glory. Oh. Crown of glory. Did y'all see that? You don't get this crown of glory if you ain't following the shepherd. That's right. The chief shepherd. The great shepherd. Jehovah Roha shepherd. Right. That's what we need to follow. Woo! We can preach right there, Sandy. Yes, we can. Somebody say, we heard him. We heard him. <laughs> See, back in old cattle days when they would round up the cow, right. Sandy, and they would call it a herd. I'm right. herding the cattle. Right. I'm herding the flock. Right. Uh-huh. And they would say certain things them cows right. would know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. right. <laughs> Is he Roll him up. Roll him up. <laughs> I wonder what the Holy Ghost is telling us right now. <laughs> Close the lesson. Right, right. Lesson. <laughs> so we're going to end right there. So let's say no, this lesson today talking about Je names of God. And today we learned about Jehovah Roha, which means, Roha means shepherd. And we called it, We Heard Him. Well, that's going to conclude. We want you to tune in for another great, we got one more uh, teaching, Sandy, we're going to do on the names of God. And then we're going to go into the pagan God's right. name. Oh, they're going to love that one, right. Sandy. That you may not even know. Yes, yes, <laughs> amen. All right, I'm Minister Love, and this is Sandy. All right, we'll Without see you on the ministries. Have All a great right. day. Yes. Bye-bye.